don't worry, that's the last slide you'll see. Let's do some straight database talk, no slides. I have Accession connected in dedicated mode. When I fire the query select star from EMP, where does all the data go in order to give it back to me, the client application? And what about select star from EMP order by one? That's an interesting question in the sense that the second follow-up, the order by one, seems to suggest that this person asking the question already has a bit of an inkling as to what's probably going on, but I'll dump, jump back to the first part and let's clarify a few things. One of the things that the common myths that is held by Oracle is that when you run a query, we go get all the data and clump it somewhere. We sort of get your results and we store them somewhere and then we feed them to you, your client application. That really wouldn't be practical for any kind of large table because if you had a billion row table, it would literally take forever to copy those billion rows to somewhere and then send them through to you as a client application. When you do select star from EMP, we go read a thing called the segment header, which is a way of the database telling us where the table starts. That gives us information as to where the extents are. And then we go read those extents and read the blocks for the employee table and extract the rows of interest. With a select star from EMP, that's all we have to do. We literally start with the first few blocks and they'll be loaded into the buffer cache if it's not a direct path read. Let's assume they come into memory or maybe we're already in memory. We'll simply read them into the buffer cache extract the rows we want and start sending them to the client application as it's requesting uh, making fetch calls. So at no point do we have to copy the data anywhere. We simply read it from disk or from memory and sent it down the line to the client application. That's why if you ever do a trace, you'll often see like wait events like SQL net more data from client or waiting on message from client. We're not going to do anything until you actually send a fetch through. And that curse that we've opened will actually remain open while you continue to fetch. One of the things you'll see in something like, say, SQL Developer is when you query your table, you get the first, say, 200 rows back. That's just a single query. We keep that cursor open. We're talking the desktop version of SQL Developer here. So that cursor remains open. And when you hit page down, we go back and we continue fetching. You might be thinking, well, maybe 10 minutes passes between the time the person gets the first 200 rows and then the second 200 rows when they press page down, etc. What if the data has changed? That's the beauty of Oracle's read consistency model. Every result you ever run is preordained. The moment you start fetching the first row, every single row in that result set will actually come back the same as at that point in time. And the way we do it is we actually undo any changes that we encounter along the way. So we're simply reading all those blocks for the employee table. And then as we, we undo changes that have happened after the query began, and then we farm those rows straight to the client application. It's a bit different when you do select star order by some column because we do need to sort the results. And in those situations, we do indeed have to store the results somewhere because the result no longer is the same as the source data. We're actually getting some data out and rearranging it. In this case, sorting it, what's order by one, sorting it by order of employee number. It is possible that the database may satisfy that query without doing a sort. Order by one, it may so happen that the database decides that I could read the table in order of say an index on that column and then the same rule as what we just spoke about applies. We simply walk through the index, walk through the blocks and farm those rows out. But assuming we have to sort the results to get the result, that sorted result will actually go into your client PGA. If it's a small result set, it'll go into memory. So we actually do have a copy of the employee table freshly sorted now in that client's PGA. Obviously for large tables, we're not gonna be able to store all that information in memory and therefore that result will be dumped out to the temporary table space. But in the same way that we farm rows to the client application only as they're requested, once we've dumped that sort of information out either to the PGA or to the temporary table space, it's only as the client issues fetch calls that we then go get that information and send it down the line.